So hello, if you're anything like me, uh, you haven't touched your firmware on your Ender 5. Well, you might have in your case, but and you get an auto home, for example. Let me give you an example of what's going on here. So you go to pre home, and the bed goes down, but oh, lo and behold, it doesn't start coming back up. Then you come back to the screen, eventually in about a couple of seconds, boom. Right. What this means is your limit switch here is broken. Because how I found this out was take that one out of there, pop that one out of the X, pop the Z in there, and watch. Now your rural home's going to work, but obviously your bed's going to keep coming up because we've just undone that switch. See, the switch works fine. I'd say add some sort of resistance down those wires when the switch isn't on. And then when the switch is on, it stops the resistance. It's like an opposite switch. So when the switch breaks, it knows. So, for example, I'm going to have to turn my printer off halfway through this, obviously, because I don't have that switch, or I just press that switch, maybe. I'll just press that switch. So, that watch. Auto home. And what do you know? She's a raisin. Oh, you can't see that because I'm... And that is how you fix your printer. So all you need to do is order some more of these and switches, replace it. I'll put it in the dis uh, link in the description. Easy as one, two, three. And I'm going to pop this one up here because it's about to hit that one. Boom. So there you go. Obviously, I'm waiting for my new ones to apply. I mean, arrive. Hopefully, this helps many people having this issue. For now, I'm just going to pop these back in where they're supposed to be. And have a good day anyway. Bye.